Hey, good morning you guys. We are doing an experiment today. Um, Cash wanted to do this. We are making gloop. So in this experiment, um, you wanna use blue? Mm -hmm. Okay, so all you do in this experiment is you add two parts of cornstarch to, and like a couple drops of um, food, coloring. food coloring, thank you. And then one part of water. So we're gonna go off of how much cornstarch we have. So let's do this. So cornstarch, we got our cornstarch. We got our little instruction manual here. It says making gloop. So put two parts of corn flour into a big bowl. Woo. Let's see how much corn flour we have left. Oh my gosh, mom's making a giant mess. You ready? Mm -hmm. Do you want to be the one to hold the this? We have three fourths cup of cornstarch, and so we need to put half of that in of water. Do we need to put this in yet? Not yet. So we need to put one and a half things of water. Do you want to do this and I'll pour the water in? So put it right over the top of there. One. Okay. One more. You ready? Two. Good job that whole thing in there. Oh, we, we put a little bit much. Ooh, whoops, hopefully it works still. Okay, we put um, a couple things of, like two drops of food coloring in there. One, two, okay. So let's put our lid back on here. We use blue, this one likes his blue. Oh, I like the green. Oh, you like green, okay. All right, why don't you stir it for us, buddy. So, it says, what's going on? Corn flour is made of lots of long, stringy particles. These don't dissolve in water, but they do spread themselves out. This allows the glue to act both like a solid and a liquid. When you roll the mixture in your hands or apply pressure to it, the particles join together and the mixture feels solid. But if this is left to rest or is held up and allowed to dribble, dribble, the particles slide over each other and it feels like liquid. <laughs> We'll tell you when this messy oh. experiment is ready. We are making a giant mess, huh? Yeah. Oh, that, I can tell why it says we're an apron. An apron? Yeah, an apron, whatever. What is that? I don't know. An apron? An apron, yeah. yeah. It's a huge mess. Mm -hmm. You're darn right. Ew. <laughs> Put some in your hands. Ready? Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to put it into a ball. You do that? Oh my gosh. It feels so weird. At first it was yeah. like a... Show everybody how you can put it into a ball. Look, it looks like going... a... Oh my gosh, it looks like it's a liquid, <laughs> but it's like hard. Yeah. That is so crazy. Dude, try... Yeah, try, try this, Jet. Oh my gosh, that feels so <laughs> crazy. It looks like it's Here. a it looks like it's a liquid, but yeah, but it's not. That is so weird. <laughs> oh my gosh. Because <laughs> if you smash it, it turns into more of a solid. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Okay, try not to get it off the table. Okay, here I'll move this. That is the weirdest feeling stuff I've ever felt. Because when you oh smash it, it feels like a solid. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but when you smash it like that, it, it's like a solid, oh, like that, and you then it like turns into a liquid. Oh, smash it all together and show us your ball. Oh, it dripped, it dripped. Crap, I dripped. It's so oh fast when it drips. That is so cool. You guys, this was fun. Was that fun? Yeah. Yeah. So just remember, it's two parts cornstarch to one part water. You mix it all up, and it looks like it's a solid, but then you put your hands in it, and it feels like sand or something. It is so bizarre. So cool. Such a fun experiment for your little kiddos. So give it a try. <laughs> and maybe give it a try outside. We'll talk to you guys later. 
Say bye. Bye. <laughs>